Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are looking at a new Kickstarter campaign and this is the Poma Brush. So this is a electric toothbrush that is designed specifically towards people that travel. Okay, we'll talk a little bit more about why that is in a moment. But first of all, we'll start with the carrying case that it comes with. The carry case is also the charge case. And the Toothbrush Plus charge case boasts a three-month battery life. Okay, so that's with using it twice a day, of course. The carry case has three LED indicators on the bottom, which show you the charge level of the case and of the toothbrush. You got the two gold pins there to charge the actual toothbrush itself. And it's just got, obviously, a cutout for the toothbrush to sit in. Snaps closed. Has Poma brush emboss embossed on the top. And I'll just show you with the toothbrush inside. So here it is. You can see the LED lights have lit up to say that it's fully charged. And you can see from the way I'm holding it that it's magnetically held into the case. So it's not going to go anywhere. I'm not shaking that hard, but just to represent. It's quite a nice robust case. It's got a good bit of heft. I wouldn't worry too much about it falling over or falling to the floor, should I say. I'm sure it would survive. And then you've got your USB-C cable to charge, USB-C port to charge, and you also got a USB-C cable in the box. The brush is a very simple one button on and off. No fancy features. You can hear it work in there. And it doesn't have any unnecessary features. Like I know that my old Oral-B toothbrush that this one is replacing had three vibration functions. I don't know what they were for. I just put it on number one. The brush has a 30 second uh, indicator to swap where you're brushing within, within your mouth. And it just does that by pausing the motor for about a second. You just move the toothbrush to the other side of the mouth and the motor carries on. And then at the end of the two minute timer, it'll just turn off. And of course, if you wanted to carry on using it a little bit longer, you can do that just by obviously turning it back on. The brush is a predominantly silicon design, okay? So that's also to do with the, not just the aesthetic, but also the travel nature of this toothbrush in that it obviously is made of silicon, which is an anti, naturally antibacterial. You can sort of see the button there, just a slight depression in the brush. And then you've got quite a different brush attachment head, so you couldn't really use this with other toothbrush heads as far as I know. I certainly haven't tried anyway. And then the toothbrush itself, the toothbrush head itself is also silicon. You've got these thicker brush heads on the outside, which are supposed to be good for massaging the gums. And then you've got some thinner silicon brush heads in the middle for actually cleaning your teeth. I've been using this brush for just over a week now, and to be honest, I am quite enjoying it. It is the first time I've used a silicon brush head brush, um, but I've got no real complaints. It's great for cleaning your tongue, you know, because it's soft and it's good that it is good for that because it doesn't have any tongue cleaning bristles on the back like some manual toothbrushes do. So it's good that it's good for that. Uh, it's def you definitely can't put as much power and effort and scrub as a standard nylon toothbrush head, but considering it's my first use of a silicon brush head, I am actually quite impressed. I also paid for um, an extra that came with this brush called the magnet. It was basically just a magnetic plate, which I'll put a picture in the footage here of it in action. It's already hung up in my bathroom and I can't be asked to take you into the bathroom to film. So I'll just put a picture up. So it's just a magnetic plate that holds onto the wall. So you'll see that in the picture anyway. One thing that they did announce throughout the campaign, this toothbrush was always designed to come with the silicon brush head. And throughout the campaign, for with stretch goals, they did actually confirm that they were working on a nylon brush head. It still had the thick bristles on the outside for massaging the gums in silicon, but the internal bristles were a standard nylon. And I thought, great. I'll probably buy those when the survey comes out and you finalize your order. I'll probably just add one to the order to try it out, right? A bit later on in the campaign, they said, look, we, we, another stretch goal. We've reached a certain value of the Kickstarter campaign. So everyone that orders a Poma brush is going to get a nylon brush head as standard for free. 
It's like, great, don't need to worry about buying one. Depending on whether I like the nylon or the silicon, I can then go onto the Poma Brush website and buy more when I need them. Speaking of buying more, really quickly, these toothbrushes are also designed to last for about three months, especially the silicon one. So you're not having to change brushes, or maybe three months is how often you're supposed to change a toothbrush, but this is supposed to last longer. Links will be down in the description for you to check that out yourself, see what their claims are. Going back to the brush heads, the nylon brush head, I didn't actually get a nylon brush head in my packaging, so I contacted the customer services, uh, the Poma Brush customer service, not Kickstarter, and explained what happened. I said, you know, I didn't get my nylon brush head in this update, number eight, you said that everyone would get one. What's happening? They emailed me back the next day, which was pretty good, and said, did you buy a nylon brush head separately? Or, um, and they said, they said something out, did, did you buy a nylon brush head separately or something else? I can't remember, can't be bothered to look up the email. Uh, if anything, I'll have it in the edit. And I just contacted them back saying, no, like I said in my first email, in update number eight, you said everyone would get a nylon brush head. And I've had no response since. So I also sent them a picture of the packaging because they because apparently at some point in its journey, my package was opened up because it failed an x-ray. So they looked at it a bit closer. So maybe the brush head fell out. I don't know. We'll wait and see when I finally chase Poma brush up for an answer. But anyway, back. so in conclusion, the actual brush head, what do I think? The actual brush, I like it. I think it's good. It doesn't feel weedy, even though it's way lighter and way more ergonomic than the Oral-B standard electronic toothbrushes. It has a great brushing power, great vibration, great results, I think. I'm not going to say my teeth are any cleaner. I'm not going to say they feel cleaner, but... I think with the fact that it's a silicon brush head and the fact that it's an unknown company, being as good as my old brush is the biggest compliment they could ever really want, in my opinion. So yes, if you are looking for a toothbrush that is great for everyday use, but also designed towards traveling with an impressive three month battery per charge, if you're planning on traveling across Europe when everything reopens, then I think this is a good choice. Check it out at the links in the description and if you like this video, like it and if you really liked it, don't forget to subscribe and I will catch you in the next one.